On YouTube, we have Edwin. You got top eight today at our PS5 case tournament, correct? Hey, top, top eight, but number one in the people's hearts. You know <laughs> Basically. Number one so, hearts. out of top eight, there were seven tier players, and you were the only one playing... Scav. Scareclaw, Castira, Adventure, Bissio. Scareclaw, just put Scareclaw. But. Yeah. So basically, you opened your packs. It was 17 packs, right? 17 packs. 5 OTS, 12. Because uh, it's half the, box, yeah. half the box. And this is what he pulled. Yeah, uh, I pulled crazy. This is the best pack lock I've literally ever had. And a Magnum. There was a Magnum. Yeah, there was a Magnum. I gave a Flanders speed to my boy QB because she told me to take that side of the box. And you know, I felt obliged because uh, he plus me like a lot. So. Yeah, you pulled insane. All right, yeah. so let's get this deck. How many cards is this? Uh, exactly 40. Okay. You know, I just like him in I guess if you want, what's a quick run of your matchups throughout? I matchups? Think it was like six literally, uh, I played two Sprite in uh, Swiss. I tied one of them, and then the other one was a loss. The guy that I lost to actually get, got first in Swiss, and then won every other matchup. I played, I think, two Sprites. I played a pure Cash Tira and a true Drake. <laughs> I wasn't expecting true Drake. I don't know any of cards to do. <laughs> <laughs> But so, that yeah. was, those were the matchups, and then top cut, uh, I lost against two elements. Shocker. There yeah. were seven of them, so of course, if I got lost, I lose that one. Yeah. So, very good job, though. Top eight out of almost 70 people. It was, 70 it was people a lot, man. It was a lot. I, I, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know how this deck did it. I, I keep telling people I think this deck's bad, but every time I play with this deck, it just seems to do enough, <laughs> which is like the weird thing. But, yeah, so let's get to the profile. Yeah, so start off, I played the one Vices. Uh, thumbs up for some synchro plays, you've seen the extra deck. To be honest, I'm not a big fan of this card. I almost want to cut it, but there are times where like you just open up too many Scareclaw names that if you don't play this card, then you can't make like a like a multi-layered interruption board. So I think like you have to play one, but I side out a lot. Uh, next is Balone. This one, uh, all the Scareclaw monsters are level three and level four. They special from the hand to an adjacent zone of another Scareclaw monster. Uh, it's once per turn. And this one gives a Scareclaw monster in the EMZ piercing damage. The next one is Astro which you know, does the same thing, but instead of piercing damage, it gives the Scareclaw monster in the EMZ attacks up to the number of defense Scareclaw positions you have with different names. Defense monsters with different names. And then the next one is Acro. This one gives your Scareclaw monster in the EMZ 300 attack for each uh, Scareclaw monster, or for each defense monster that you control in general. And uh, those are like the level threes. And then like the last one is Rykart. Uh, this is of course the best one. This is the one that gives you an interruption or it gives you an uh, extender. The extender is Arrival, which is a monster reborn. And then Splash is an Omni Negate. It has to be face up to resolve, so typically in draw phase, you flip it immediately. And uh, the last but not least is the two field spell. Um, I don't like playing three field spell. Like opening it is not that great. You really want it to be a card that you search out for Link 1. And uh, yeah, that's why I played two. I think it's relevant to play two, especially with Millers. So this is your Scareclaw card. This is the Scareclaw engine. Yep. Okay. Also, I'll say people don't really pay attention to what this deck does. So like, your opponent has to read all your cards. Usually when they do that, you're in a good spot. Uh, <laughs> uh, so that was the Scareclaw part of the deck. So we play Cash Tiras, it's the Ks. I only play Fenrir. I used to try out Unicorn, but honestly, it just isn't what you want it to do. If you play Unicorn, you really should be playing uh, Birth. Cause I guess you that extra normal. It gives you extra normal or just an extender. So like a lot of times, like if you get hand trapped somewhere along the way, you'll be like one card short of making Tryheart, which is the boss monster of the day, and like you would end up uh, linking off the unicorn with like two scareclaw bodies, and then you get it back off the birth. But like playing an additional brick is not that good, and honestly, like hitting the extra deck is nice, but it's not that impactful. Uh, the adventure part of the deck played triple enchantress, one Griffin Rider, Draco back, one Fateful, two right. So honestly, I understand why people don't like this engine, but I think it's just too good to run in this deck. Like, you have no normal summon effects, so I just think it's 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 too free. Um, I will say against tier, if they have Kelbeck in hand, whenever you have to discard off the search and they bounce the token, that hurts. But like, it's kind of something you just got to do. And then obviously, right, I, every deck that's not tier gets put under so much pressure by these cards, which yeah. is why I think they're really strong. So that was the K's and the A's. <laughs> and then the last part. Last thing is Bistios. To be honest, um, I think I disrespected tier. I think I probably should have played like seven. <laughs> Honestly, maybe even nine. Yeah. Like these cards are like only like fighting chance you have. Like you're playing a rogue deck, so you need these cards to like make your rogue deck playable. And I think putting more of them in actually would have been better. But uh, you know, they did the job. They, usually they just bait out a shuffler and then they stop a fusion summon, but 
they're good cards. Uh, your boss monster takes generically three effect monsters, so putting these on board is never really bad. Opening up Magnemite gets you this. This, you can try to hit another name, and then like if you have one Scarecrow name, you can link them all off and get a send off the Judas Worm set. It's really nice. Obviously, these cards are broken. Everybody should, everybody probably knows them in this format. Yeah. Uh, last thing, I just played Triple Imperm, Triple Ash. Nice. So, I was expecting like sprite matchups and stuff, and since I wasn't playing uh, Scareclaw Twins on the main, I wanted to play these weaker hand traps because I thought that they would kind of deal with what that card kind of deals with, and so yeah, it was pretty good. Imperm but, crazy. Oh yeah, so that's the main deck, right? That is the main deck, yeah. Now the extra deck. Yes, sir. So extra deck, Scareclaw Lightheart, Link One searches the field spell. Uh, if you control Vice's Star Frost and it's in your graveyard, once per duel you can special it back. Card's really good. Uh, unfortunately, Bestials are too strong, so every time you go for that play, he gets Bestial, so I almost never go for it. But uh, card's good. Also, the effective for, to search the field spell is not once per turn, so that comes up sometimes for you to know. Uh, next, I have the Triheart. Uh, almost like Maguska, anytime he's on board, all monsters on the field get put into defense, and he himself is undefected by the activated effects of defense monsters. Uh, this is the boss monster. I go for him every turn. Sometimes this, like, the idea behind this deck is that you put this card up with, like, two to three interruptions, and, like, honestly, sometimes it's just enough. And, like, that's kind of the theme of the deck. It's it's just enough, and then he can OTK really easy. Okay. Uh, his other effect is that he can target a level three Scareclaw and Grave, special it back, and then he can search another Scareclaw. And so it kind of gives you follow-up in that way. It does lock you into Scareclaw, so you always do it last. Uh, generic Link 2s, I don't think I made this once. Don't think I made this once. Don't think I made this once. <laughs> don't think I made this once. Don't think I made this once. Okay, IP comes up sometimes at locals, but today it didn't come up at all. Fillers. Yeah. This card was crazy. Again, somebody, somebody's playing Pure Cash Jira, and this card was crazy because it can't be targeted. Uh, I made him with Fenrir, and then I just keep buffing the attack, and I didn't really have an out. Uh, he was going to try to use me with something, but it just didn't happen. Access Code. Uh, I tried making once so I could use his effect to banish a card and then pop a card to make Changing and then trigger Changing effect. Didn't work out, but uh, sometimes you just, like, if your big guy ever gets imprimed or something, and you have one Scareclaw name underneath him if he uses effect, you can usually just link those two off for access code and try to kill somebody on that turn. Uh, for those matchups that you just can't get over their monster, like a Towers or something, this is good. Yeah, Egg Baron. and Baron. Baron actually is probably one that's summoned the most, but uh... But you can only do the with though, right? Uh, yeah, you almost like have to have only exactly like the Star Frost today. I actually made it with uh, Griffin Rider and Ash. <laughs> oh yeah. Sh shout out Eddie. Sorry about it, bro. But <laughs> sorry. Yeah. And that, that happened. So. Nice. Right, so yeah, that, that is the deck, guys. Uh, oh, your side deck. Yeah, we got a side deck. Don't bro. forget that. Yeah. Got the Sky Striker token. Kind of funny because you know this, the Ray. Wasn't <laughs> expecting it, but uh, here we have evenly match. Draw. This card shouldn't be there. I, I think this card's really bad right now. I thought it would be good, but not. Nah. Uh, two lightning. I mentioned Twin Saw earlier. Uh, so I main deck Slash and another attempt to like play around tier. Against tier, this card is like really, really unfortunate. But against every other deck that's not tier, it's absolutely crazy. Oh, well, because they're all fusions. Yeah. This card is a you banish it, it negates every right, just negates it, right? Yeah. So negates a, all the link monsters. Yeah. yeah if there's a link three or higher on the board, uh, either person's board try you hard, can banish easily. it. Easily. Yeah. Easily try hard. Easily. And then uh, triple nib didn't come up once, but there were a couple sword soul players here, uh, so I thought it'd be good. And then dark Road no more. Uh, against the sprite board, you do this. Uh, fortunately, one of the sprite players that I played against, I drew the dark ruler and evenly. Oh, it was game from there. It, I, it, it, it was a combo. I mean, yeah, I, it, was, it was a combo. But, but yeah, that's the side deck, man. This is the deck. Uh, Congratulations. I just wanna, thanks, man. I, I appreciate it. It's my my first case turn that I top. I didn't think I'd do it with Scare Claw. Thought I'd do it with the better. You weren't deck, even gonna come today. I wasn't gonna come today. That's a crazy. My friend Mark, I was playing league with him, and he was like, "Dude, just come." And I was like, "No, I'm not gonna be doing anything else." All right, sure. And that will lead to now your shadows. Actually, yeah, it's not willing to my shadow. So I guess the reason why I'm actually here today because I wasn't gonna come. Uh, March and Romain, Bozo number one, uh, Bozo number two, Anthony. He actually helped me make this deck. Whenever I was first like thinking about it, me and him tested online a lot with it, and it was, I was doing it for fun. I thought it would be kind of goofy, but like I ended up really liking it, and I've been taking it to locals, having some success. And yeah, I guess uh, next shout out, man on the camera. You know, uh, we always on Discord. <laughs> Shout out QB, he pulled out this side of my oh, mouth. Yeah, so QB over there. Man. Got you with these. Bro, he pulled the Fenrir, he pulled the Rebellion, I pulled the Unicorn, and I pulled this, and uh, he, this guy, man. Yeah, this guy, local legend. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I guess any other shout outs? Uh, shout out everybody at the Shining Gaming. Really cool locals. Shout out my brother, shout out my cousin. Ooh. I think that's it.
All right, well, thank you, Edwin, and uh, have a good night. And uh, subscribe, right? Subscribe. Yeah. He gave you a shout-out. Oh, he did? Yeah, he did. Oh, All right, all right. All right, anyways, have a good night. See you.